Hey guys, welcome to a beginner's guide to soldering. Soldering is an important skill that I believe everyone should have. In this video, I'll walk you through all the necessary items and steps to become good at soldering. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel, and I will talk about a giveaway in the end of the video. You will need a soldering iron, flux, wire strippers, alligator clips, or any sort of helping hands that will help hold your wires steady and stable, electrical tape or heat shrink, and finally, a paper towel or a sponge. The first step is to turn, turn on your soldering iron. Typical solder melts at around 188 degrees Celsius or 370 degrees Fahrenheit. I like to heat up mine to around 200 degrees Celsius. The second step is to clean the tip of your soldering iron. The heat transfers from the tip, and if the tip is covered with burnt metals, they, it'll be harder for the heat to transfer. Therefore, cleaning your tip regularly is beneficial. For the third step, you should use your wire strippers to strip the ends of the wires. Be generous with the amount of wire you strip, therefore you can have a stronger connection. For the fourth step, secure your wires. Here I'm using a stand with alligator clips, but you can also use um, two wires taped in between a clamp. For the fifth step, you should fray the ends of the wires and then intertwine them with one another. This will create a powerful bond and a cleaner connection. For the sixth step, apply rosin flux. Flux helps remove oxidization from the metal and will help the solder flow better through your connection. For the seventh step, you're ready to apply the solder. Hold the soldering iron over your connection and touch the solder to the tip of the iron, allowing the metal to melt and flow through your connection. Do this slowly, therefore your outcome will be more cleaner and more even. Also, do not hold the, do not melt the solder on the bottom of the connection or else the solder will simply fall onto the surface. Make sure you use a paper napkin or a sponge to collect any fallen residue. Even when soldering pins on a circuit board, it's the same idea. Hold the soldering iron on the pin you want to apply solder to and gently but push the solder onto the tip of the soldering iron. Remember, solder flows where the heat is. Finally, if you have a bit of heat shrink, slide it over the area which you soldered together. This will create a powerful barrier and protect your area. However, if you don't have heat shrink, electrical tape is also a good option. Thank you for watching the video guys. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I will be doing a giveaway uh, of the soldering iron and stand featured in the video. Just make sure you comment down below your Instagram username and why you'd like the soldering iron. I will announce the winner in the next video. Have a great day guys.